Understanding Hamstring Injury, a Guide for English Learners. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to talk about a common term in sports and health, hamstring injury. This phrase might sound complex, but don't worry, we'll break it down together. By the end of this video, you'll not only understand what it means but also how to use it in your conversations. Before diving into what a hamstring injury is, let's understand what the hamstring itself is. The hamstring is a group of three muscles at the back of your thigh. These muscles are important for walking, running, and jumping. They stretch from your hip to just below your knee. When we talk about the hamstring, we're referring to this critical muscle group in your leg. Now, let's focus on the term injury. An injury is harm or damage to a part of your body. It usually happens because of an accident or some form of physical activity. Injuries can range from mild to severe, depending on how much damage is done. Combining these two terms, a hamstring injury occurs when you strain or pull one of these hamstring muscles. This kind of injury is common in athletes, especially those who run a lot, like soccer players or sprinters. Symptoms can include pain, swelling, and difficulty moving the leg. To help you understand better, let's see how to use hamstring injury in a sentence. 1. The soccer player couldn't play in the final match due to a hamstring injury. 2. After running the marathon, I suffered a mild hamstring injury. These examples show how the term is commonly used in everyday English, especially in the context of sports. I hope this video helps you understand what a hamstring injury is and how to use the term correctly. Remember, learning a language includes understanding specific phrases like this, which are part of everyday conversations, especially in sports. Keep practicing, and you'll soon be using English terms like a pro. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next video.